Hey guys, it's Lindsay here, and you may have heard that we just released our brand new Alston reversible jacket. Now, it is like super hot outside in Queensland, but I wanted to wear it to show you because we are gonna be doing a flat filled seam. Now, this may be a new technique that you've never done before, and it might seem a little bit intimidating, but I'm here to tell you, it is extremely easy. So I'm gonna show you in just a few easy steps how to achieve a flat filled seam on your new Alston reversible jacket. Okay, so my first step is that I have my two pieces and I put them right sides together and pin them. And then I'm gonna sew this side at exactly half an inch. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to my machine. I have it threaded with blue thread so that you'll be able to see the contrast, but you'd wanna thread this up with a uh, thread that is matching. And we're just gonna put our foot down and we're gonna sew a half inch seam and just take our pins out as we get to them. And also because we're on wool, I've set my machine stitch length to 3.0 so it's a little bit longer. Okay, we got a cut. Okay, now that I have that all sewn, I'm going to take my scissors and I am just going to trim away one of the sides. Okay, so you can see how I'm getting super close and I'm just trimming that away. Duckbill scissors would make this even easier to get super close, but I'm using my new LDH scissors and they are doing just fine. Okay, now that you have that all done, you take this and take it over to your sewn, or to your iron and give that a really nice press. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a finger press, okay? Like that. And then I would also take some pins and just pin that down so it doesn't move on you. So now I'm about to put on my favorite foot in the whole world. It's the edge stitching foot with the guide. And what this enables me to do is lay it right on where I'm going to sew and then just move the needle over so that I have a guide to guide me and then I can sew right next to that edge the whole way down. So I'm gonna pop that on my machine. Okay, and then I'm just gonna move my needle over to the left a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna line that up. Okay, I'm gonna check and make sure it's going through, which it's not. So that just means I need to move my needle over just a little bit more. Yep, okay, now it's catching. So all you're gonna do is line that up and keep that spread apart and line the edge of this up with the edge of the fabric. Okay, give that a cut. And there we go. It's perfect from the inside and perfect from the outside. And so it's completely encased. Now, there are other methods to do a flat felt seam, especially if you have fabric that is going to fray. Now, this may not be of particular use to you if you are doing the Alston jacket, but it may be handy if you're doing, say, a pair of jeans or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our two pieces uh, wrong sides together like this, and we're going to separate them about half an inch. And then I'm going to come in here and put my foot down. Okay, so I've lined that up with my edge at the half an inch and then my needle is just slightly over to the left. And then I am going to sew that. Okay. okay, so the first thing I did was iron this to meet where I just stitched. So I just ironed that in half and then I'm gonna fold that over and iron it flat. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our sewing machine and what you see is that that was my first stitch here along this edge 
and then I've ironed it in half and then I've ironed it completely over again and I've created this edge. So here's my previous stitching line and then here's my new edge where I'm going to stitch really close to. I've popped back on my favorite foot, the edge stitching foot, and I've also engaged my laser. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but that's going to help me make sure that I stay ultra super duper straight. So then we are just going to check everything's right and then off we go. And mind you, I am sitting sideways as I sew, but because I have all these extra little things to help and guide me, my stitches are going straight, which is awesome. Perfect. And so it looks good from the front and looks equally as good from the back. And that's it. It really is that simple. Today you've learned two different techniques on how to do a flat felt seam. The first one you learned is how to do one with fabric that doesn't fray. It's as simple as sewing them together, clipping, flipping, and then stitching. Super easy and this will be perfect for your new Alston reversible jacket. We also learned another method for fabrics that may have a little bit of fraying. So you just sew them, remember wrong sides together, sew them off center from one another and then double fold in and then top stitch from the front. So now you'll be able to grow your skills and confidence because you know how to do a flat fold seam and you can tackle those jackets or jeans or anything else you can imagine. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial today and I will see you next time. Bye.